hello guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome my name is ivy and i'm a makeup artist based in asaba delta state nigeria in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you my top five favorite concealers especially if you have oily skin if this is a content you would like to see then please keep on watching and don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to my channel down below okay i'll see you guys in the video welcome back guys so concealers today is going to be all about concealers what do you need concealers for what do they do now personally i use concealers for two different things i use concealers one to color correct and i also use concealer to highlight my face okay now when you want to color correct with the concealer it's often advisable to go in with the concealer that is your skin shade okay or something that has a little bit of orange or if you are darker skin a little bit of red in it okay if that makes any sense all right so the five concealers i have here today i'm just going to be picking at random in no particular order the fact that i pick one doesn't give me my favorite or least favorite okay so i'm just i love them all equally and i'm just going to be picking at random okay now we are going to start with the once i've been using the longest that is the la girl pro concealer hmm. this concealer has been with me through thick and thin i have used these concealers for years i mean this were like the first set of concealer that i got that i actually knew what i was doing with highlighting some other ones i was using prior to my first using these concealers i would crease it would like drop off and all of that but since I started using this concealer, this was like a couple years back, I have not had any problem. The only thing with these concealers is that they're not as full coverage as some of the other concealers I'm going to be speaking on shortly. But if you want to get them to apply full coverage, after you apply them, leave them on your skin for a little bit to just kind of dry up a bit and then blend out okay now i have two concealers right here i have the early girl pro conceal in the shade beautiful bronze i like to use this to color correct at times i have to color correct around my mouth and underneath my eye if i have like black bags on underneath my eye or um i just feel like i did color correction <laughs> all right now this bit shade beautiful bronze is almost close to my skin tone and then to highlight i use the la girl pro concealer in the shade toffee i actually used to use the shade fawn but it's just applied too lightly for my skin fawn didn't really work for me so i said going in with toffee and toffee has been like my go-to at times i mix in a little bit of beautiful bronze like if i don't want my highlight to be really bright but this actually gives me a bright highlight so once again in summary i use beautiful bronze to color correct and just kind of even out my skin and i use toffee to highlight okay the second concealers on our list here today are the ColourPop no filter concealers i really do love these concealers a lot and if you're based here in nigeria they're quite affordable i got this from wholesale beauty hub and i think that's like one of the most affordable retail stores here in nigeria compared to some of the other shops i know normally used to buy things from they just want to cut off your neck and give you outrageous prices i really do love wholesale beauty hub for that i've been buying things from them for a while now and i tend to keep on buying so um shout out to shout out to wholesale beauty hub and if you want to get like affordable things you can patronize them i got these concealers from them um i have two shades right here i have the shade deep dark in number 50 and dark 46 now this dark this deep dark number 50 i normally use to color correct same way i use with my elegant or beautiful bronze okay i use color correct underneath my eye around my mouth and mouth sorry and any other areas i feel like i need to color correct and then i use dark 46 to highlight my guys oh god this concealer in fact if you've not watched my Oh, the last haul I did, I actually got two of these concealers because I had run out. I don't like having not having this in rotation at any point in time. I must have at least three concealers in rotation. I actually got this. I got this on the back of. I've been using this for a while. The back of is somewhere in one of my makeup drawers. 
this concealer if you've not tried this concealer before please go ahead and try it color pop no filter concealers color pop the cosmetologist or whoever was in charge of mixing or making this formula i give you that you really try it i drop my hat off to you if you have oily skin this concealer you would love it it doesn't smudge it doesn't budge once you apply and you set remember now if you're using a concealer i always pre prefer to set it i don't like just allowing the concealer set itself always set the powder and the concealer is not going anywhere okay now the third concealers i have right here are the maybelline instant age rewind eraser dark circles treatment concealer oh wow this is quite a mouthful okay now i have two shades i have the shade hazelnut and tan now in just these three concealers i have two shades that i normally use to color correct and highlight okay so if i'm using any of the other concealers i'm going to be listing going forward i will use any of these other ones to color correct okay so i normally use hazelnut to color correct and then i highlight with tan this concealer is so lightweight and um the other ones have easier applicators this one just has has a sponge i don't really like the applicator for this but what do we do we love the product so we have to make do with whatever <laughs> applicator it has i really do love this concealer a lot i've been used as you can see like i'm almost out i'm dreading like i'm dreading going to get these concealers again makeup is so expensive guys like every time i've just been like ah running out of things and then i i start having panic attacks because i know that i'm out of this i'm out of this how do i get them primer mascara concealers and that oh my goodness makeup is so expensive but we want to look good now and it's our business so of course we have to keep on buying and buying and buying so <laughs> um leveling age rank concealer is really really good it's lightweight but full coverage long wearing long lasting you apply you set and you're good to go this is my third favorite concealer if you have oily skin okay now the next concealer I have here is from a Nigerian brand. Nigerian brands are really killing it. I'm really amazed. Some have been like hit or miss, like hit and go, but some other brands have been like really blowing my mind. Like I've been really impressed with this brand, Nuban Beauty. This concealer right here is my favorite concealer. Sorry guys, I said there was no favorite. <laughs> One of my favorite concealers. This is the Nuban Beauty in my skin liquid concealer. I'm in the shade number 46. As you guys can see from this video, I do not really like to go extremely bright on my under eye. I like it to be bright, but sort of not like excessively bright that when I come out, you just see that spot. I like it well blended in and just a little bit highlighted. That's my personal preference. So number 46 is actually a good match. I intend to get the number 45. I think it's quite lighter than this, but I just want to play around with it and see how I like it. Maybe mix it in with a little bit of this. But I've just been really curious to try the number 45 out. So this concealer, if you have oily skin, even I used it the other day on a client that had dry skin and it didn't um, leave dry patches, it wasn't over drying so i think it can work with any skin type but if you have oily skin give this concealer a try all these concealers i'm listing here they are all long wearing they are all long lasting they all have medium to full coverage and they're all beautiful okay so these are not just concealers that i'm just listing for the sake of listing these are concealers i have used how you know you love a product is when you actually get to run out of a tube and then you have to repurchase that's how much you know you have a lot of product. I have run out of several of these. In fact, all these concealers here, I've run out of several of That's how I know I love. I've gotten other concealers along the way, but I discovered that I do not love those ones as much as I love these ones. Okay? So, the Nuban Beauty in my skin liquid concealer is actually another good concealer. Now, the final concealer in my list is the Tuvia's Place I Am Magic Found. <laughs> Please, I have magic concealer, guys. Hey, what's up with me today? 
and this is in the shade number 10. I actually have two of these. I have 9 and I have 10. I ordered directly from Juvia's place and they do deliver right here to Nigeria. I was a bit confused on my number 9 is lying somewhere around. I was a bit confused on the shade so I actually got 9 and 10 and they both match me perfectly well. They for my skin shade they actually give me a pretty popping highlight all right now this concealer i love but hmm i feel like i love this brand i discovered that this concealer doesn't really work well with every single foundation i have this concealer works amazingly well amazingly well like it was anyway it should work amazingly well because it was created together with the Aya Magic Foundation but it does work amazingly well with Julia's Place Aya Magic Foundation which I do own and I love it for the foundation it also does work amazingly well with my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation and my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation now some other foundations I've used this concealer with i don't know i really didn't like the outcome so but with those three particular foundations it's always a go so i just stick to those three foundations whenever I, I use those foundations i know that i can use this concealer okay and then any other foundation i own i can use the other ones so Compared to some of the other concealers I, I own that don't even work with any any of my foundations, I mean this is a go and if not for anything but just for the Julia Space for, um, Foundation, this concealer matches beautifully as it so so well. You have to it's a bit creamier, so you have to go use very little of it, and you also have to ensure that you set because and before you said like blend out look up and set so you don't set in the crease otherwise i've heard couple people complain that it does crease and all of that but i've never really experienced like you know what you're doing you won't have a problem with this concealer i love this concealer especially for my l'oreal infallible chromatic foundation my nys can stop pencil foundation and my Julia's space now guys this brings us to the end of our video today on our top five favorites concealers for oily skin okay now as most of you know i have oily skin so most of the content i'm going to be bringing to you guys is going to be centered around my skin type products i've used that worked for me if you have a dry skin and you just like me and you won't come to the family but you maybe if you have oily skin and you want to learn a thing or two then please subscribe to my channel down below and let me know i just i really want to start chatting with you guys in the comment section I discover i don't really like get comments okay so just let me know just drop a comment like a one liner oh my favorite concealer is this and this have you tried this out they won't give me suggestions i'm sure there are other concealers out there that i have not been tried and i would like to try them now there's one concealer i intend to get the l'oreal infallible concealer actually just made a purchase of the concealer i'm expecting it to come but i normally like testing out products for like three months minimum of three months before i know how much i like a product test it out under different conditions and then i know how much i like so that's one that and that one concealer i'm looking at getting and trying out and i really like to hear from you guys okay and don't forget to subscribe guys if you've watched this far can you subscribe to my channel down below right and i'll see you guys in my very very next video bye guys